please note that graphs are something which are really important and it gives a visual appear appearance to our data and rather than doing any statistics calculation on that just by looking at graphs we can tell what kind of data our data is just featured up in our data set so if you are in a hurry and you don't really want to do anything like this you don't need to hard code in of the particular type what you want in sal and temp what pair plot will do is it will just give you the complete uh, visualization that can be possible from all the columns that we have so sal sal we have this kind of distribution over here for temp temp we have this kind of sal temp you can see that distribution is something like this now our best fit scale will be if we can just get a line of something in the middle over here so if we are able to predict a line in between so that will be a very good fit for this model so let's start let's start by train test plate for that we have to first call from sklearn dot model selection import train test split so let's check if everything is right yeah now what i usually do over here is i'll just write train test split and then i do shift press tab it will give me the doc string about this and what I can see over here is an example which I'll just copy it out. So let's copy this complete and paste it over here. So we have everything that we need. So x train, x test, y train, y test, and train test split. And over here we have to change our data. So that's how we can do it. Now, before executing this line, we need x and y in a particular format. So let's check out the format. If I again press shift press tab, it will just give me a doc string. And over here, we can just check out what exactly it needs. So the parents are we need sequence of indexables with same lens, the shape zero. So we need something of numpy arrays. Okay, so let's create. Uh, numpy arrays for this now there are different ways to get out your data uh, this is one of the way in the next practical video we will look into one more way to get our data so in x we should be having sal so for that what we are going to do is we are going to take np.array and then we are going to pass data Sal and then I am going to reshape it as it needs to be in a particular format. So I need mean that in minus one one. Now if you check x x x x is in something like this format. Okay, so that's all the values that we have in data dot sal. Let's do the same thing for Y. Let's copy the same code, delete out the cell, paste it out over here. Let's do it for Y. Small Y, and we should be having temp. Okay, this works. Let's check if Y we have the code. Okay, so we have Y over here. Now we have X and Y. Now, as we have only 500 items in our data set, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the test size into 0.25 and let's keep a random state of 101. What is what this random state will do is it will make sure that your answer and my answer is completely the same. So it's a seed, a random seed that I am providing. So 101 is the seed. Let's run this cell. If you want to check X train we have this array you can check out the complete array now we will start with 
fitting our model. So we will fit our linear regression model, which is a new variate model as we have only one feature and one prediction column. Okay. So for this, we don't need to write the complete algorithm by ourselves. SKLN does this for us. So we just need to call out the library. So let's call from sklearn dot linear model import linear regression make sure there is no typo l should be capital and r should be capital let's check out now that we have called our linear regression model let's just begin it so regression equals to linear it's, so there's a typo okay if you want to check what how many parents we have so these are the parents that we can do we can normalize we can fit intercept copy x and jobs we can do all of these from this model as of now let's keep this but in default now I'm going to fit my model. So for that, it's regr dot fit, and I will pass my x train and pass my y train. So my model will be fitted in this data. So it has been successfully fitted out. So you can also check the doc string over here, what all we can pass over here. We can just pass X and Y. Okay, again, these are array like or sparse matrix of N samples and N features. So we already have converted the sizes over here, reshaped it. So that's how we do it. We call out a linear regression model. We import our model, then we just uh, initialize it. And then we are fitting the model in our data. So our model has been completed. Now, if you want to check the score of it quite easy again x test and y test so it's 0 0.84 which is very good as of a starting point so we have successfully fitted our model and we have created quite a good model now we can visualize this model also for this let's do y pred is equal to let's predict our values first so regr dot predict and we are going to pass x test now y will be having all the values okay so y pred will be having all the values that our new machine learning model that is the regr model that is a linear regression model has predicted for x test now we can compare y pred and y test to get out how close our data set is. For this, we can do different visualization and then we can just implement evaluation matrices that are necessary for regression. 